All right, afternoon all, Chief Prepper here again. Um, so one of the things that's being talked about and then there's, you know, people are saying it, but I'm gonna start echoing some stuff. A big lesson learned is that you need cash. All right, and the general rule of thumb is when things are stupid, you wanna have six months worth of cash on hand to pay bills. Now, speaking from personal stuff, that would be $30,000 cash. And I, I'm not, right now, I'm not going to have that that available. It's just, I don't have it. Uh, and I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say most people don't have it. So, and I wouldn't have it in the bank, just so you know. Because, uh... I just left the ATM, sucked out some money. I've got X amount of dollars that's going to go in a coffee can this month. And then next month, I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, my plan was to pay off my wife's bike. And with the way the world is right now, and after watching everything that happened, I used to keep some cash on hand, but I wind up spending it. Uh, and I may spend some of this this month, but we'll see. Because uh, this is October's money, so in three and a half weeks, I'll have November's money. Um, you know, my recommendation is minimum. Look at your grocery bill. Look at everything you buy and realize if the shit hits the fan like it did in East Tennessee and the Carolinas, then your ability to buy shit is going to be limited. But you want to be able to buy three months worth of groceries if you need to. And realize stuff will get more expensive. So I was just listening to Patera from Appalachia Homestead. And uh, I think she's crushed mentally to see the devastation. And I'm sure she's seeing anguish and pain and agony on the people's faces. Lost everything. No house, no job, no car. You know, they may have the clothes on their back. Uh, in a week, we're going to be moving into winter there. Uh, I mean, I, I, she she visi visibly visibly looks like it's crushing her. And then the pinball, you know, he's got people asking him for him to spearhead shit, and uh, he's basically said he can't do it. He's got like four people full time helping him do what he's doing. And uh, he's like, I can't do it. So, because people know that they're going to need clothes. They're going to need jackets. They're going to need somewhere to sleep at fucking night. Uh, wherever they're at. Um, so keep cash on hand. And realize that that's not a perfect solution. And three months is what I would minimally require or recommend. And then also keep three months worth of food minimum. And then based on what I saw, you know, maybe have some at an alternate location. Uh, Angry Prepper from New York, Jason, he does that. He's got a storage unit with preps in it. So, you know, the problem for me in Texas is unless you get a climate control storage unit, it gets so hot in the summertime, you can't leave canned goods in there. But you can leave dry goods in there. So, uh, so keep that in mind. I mean, it, it, it's a fucking thing. I mean, people are, they're fucked, like, beyond belief. And, you know, Bear, Bear was saying this morning that the death toll's at a number. And he says it's, it's going to go way higher. Because there are people that probably still haven't been reached. And if they've been without food and water for a week, they're dying. That's the way that is. So keep cash on hand, folks. Uh, get to prepping. You know, information is knowledge and power. Live a little prepper lot. Share love. Keep prepper. Out.